Hey guys, how's it going? It's Helpful Lockpicker here. In the video I have for you today, I'm going to be going over how you can make an all brass Abus 83CS45 with a Schleg Primus core. I think this is a really beautiful lock, and a lot of the community has showed a lot of interest in it. And what I'm going to do is make a new one with you together. So let's get started with this right now. <laughs> I'd like to first start off by going over some of the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need to have the Abus 8345CS lock body. Then you're going to want to have the kick conversion kit so you can install your lock into the lock body. Then you're going to want to have whichever cylinder of choice. I'm going to be doing a brass Schleg Primus. If you do have a brand new one, you're going to want to have a key blank because they come all zero bitted. If you want to cut and rekey, you're going to want to have a penning tray with the appropriate pens, and you can change out the driver pens if you would like. Then you're going to want to have the shackle exchange tool, and then the brass shackle if you would like to put on the brass shackle so you get the all brass look. And then just normal stuff. You're going to want to have plug followers, tweezers, maybe a lock pick, and a nice screwdriver. So now that we have all the supplies together, let's get started with making this pretty cool lock. In order to get started, the first thing we need to do is let's get the lock body out of the package. And then we're going to want to change out the shackle. So in order to get this really nice brass shackle on, we're going to take our Abus Shackle 83 series change tool and we're going to insert it. Then we're going to have it turn. It's going to pop the lock open. Then we're going to turn it some more, and then we're going to be able to remove the shackle completely. Now, when you take a look on the inside, there's going to be a ball bearing right down there. And you're going to want to turn this and hold it in a way where that ball bearing is going to completely retract. And you're just going to see a spring down the bottom. Once you're able to do that, we're going to drop our shackle all the way down. And then we're going to be able to install it. So just keep twisting the tool, make sure everything's clear. And then we're going to be able to get our shackle in like we just did. So this can be a little finicky at first, it takes a little bit of practice. But now that we have the shackle in, the next thing we're going to want to do is get our lock cylinder in. And we're going to work on that right now. Now that we have the brass shackle installed, the next thing I want to do is start to focus on the lock itself. So what I'm going to do is pin the lock up the way that I would like it, and then you can always pin up the lock the way you would like it. So the first thing I'd like to do is let's take the back of this lock off, and then I want to do is change the key pins and the driver pins very quickly. So now that we have the back off, we're going to very carefully with our plug follower take the plug out and then we're going to be careful with the sidebar so that not everything will jump on out. So you always want to be careful holding the sidebar in. So these are going to all be zero bitted so they're going to be zero cut key pens. I'm just going to dump those on out. And then one thing I like to do is use a little tool I made where it's a key that I filed down all the way so it will hold the sidebar in. So I'm going to just hold my finger over the finger pins and insert this tool and that will hold it in place. Now what we can do is if you have come prepared you can insert the new pens. So I cut my key 818181 just to give some very good high-low, high-low bidding. And we're going to just drop these in one at a time. And then I decided that I would like to put serrated pens over the eights and spools over the ones. So I'm going to put this down for just a minute here. And the sidebar has just popped out. You just need to be careful you don't lose any of those springs. And we're going to now take out the standard pens. 
So let's install our very last driver pen, which is going to be a serrated pen over an 8 cut in the first position. So now we have the security pins added, we have the key pins added to our lock. The next thing I'd like to do is let's cut a key to our lock so we can get started. So that was pretty cool cutting this key 818181. It has some really cool highs and lows. And what I like to do is finish putting the lock together and test out this really nice key. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull our lock back over to here. And since I'm very confident in my code cutter to cut the keys accurately, I'm not going to take my little tool out. But if you're not accurate or you're not sure, you definitely want to test your key and insert it and make sure that the pins are going to sit flush going across. So before you proceed, make sure you haven't lost any of these small sidebar springs. Then we're going to put our sidebar right back in and then we're going to push it in. Then we're going to insert our lock at a little bit of an angle. We're going to depress the sidebar and just push everything through. Then we're going to lock the lock back up. And now I can pull out my tool. So in order to get this lock to work, what we're going to need to do is get our really good conversion kit. And we're going to need to install a piece that's going to interfa interface with the actuator. And I like to use this piece here and have it oriented in this way. So we're going to need to now put our spring back in the back of our lock and then we're going to need to get our little detent pin and then we're going to reattach our retaining piece so we can hold all of this together. So let's get this tail piece secured right now. So I like to take my pick and just push down and turn. And you do not want to over tighten it because it's going to make your lock not work very easily. But once you have that secured, what we can do is now take our key and see how well it works. So this is our new key that we cut by code. We're going to insert it and see that it operates the lock very, very well. Let's now install our lock into our lock body and we're almost done and this is getting to look really, really cool. So the first thing you want to do is get the shackle open. You can use the exchange tool, but that's not really necessary because we have the tail piece on our lock. And we want to check it out and make sure it's working. So just insert your lock cylinder into your lock, use your key and turn, and the shackle should pop open. The next thing you want to do is I like to dump the spring out and relock. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure this lock is going to work before I fully secure it. So we're going to take this piece here, and it's only going to fit one way, and we're going to drop it down. This is going to hold the kick cylinder into the padlock. So you want to have the end without the screw thread in the front and the screw thread end in the back. Then we're going to just have this get inserted in. And let's just make sure that it's going to work because once you have it screwed in and if it doesn't work, you're going to be in trouble and it's going to be very, very hard to fix. So that is working very, very well. So I am actually very happy with that. So what I'm going to do is just hold my cylinder in place and let's drop this Phillips head screw down, get out our screwdriver, and just screw this right into place. This screw is going into that adapter. It's going to hold the lock cylinder in place. And now you're going to have an all brass Abus 83CS45 with a Schleich Primus core. And it's going to work very, very well. With these adapter kits, you can put in many, many, many different cores, but I just felt like this was a really cool project because we were able to have a really cool shrouded brass lock with a brass cylinder and a brass shackle. And I just think this is a really beautiful lock and a really great project. 
and this is some really cool bidding. And I just thought this was a really cool thing to share with anyone. If anyone was ever just interested in general how to put together an Avis 83 series, this is a great video for them. If anyone wants to make one of these, this is really cool as well. And if you ever have any trouble finding the brass shackle, let me know and I can try to track one down for you. But either way guys, this is all that I have for you today. This has been a really cool video on how to make an all brass Abus 83 CS45 with a Schlage Primus core. If you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please drop those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. Thank you so much for checking this out and I hope you all have a great day and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.